happening? Why can't we move? Wait. Leave this one for me. I have special plans for him. Don't fret, friend. I'm not going to kill you. Well, yet. First, I want to tell you my story. You see, I was not always the television-faced man I am today. In fact, I grew up as a human child, ordinary in every way, except for one. I was sick. Hey, I was watching that! I'm sorry to disturb you, but I'm afraid I need to show you something. Something important. You see this right here? That's a brain tumor we found at the back of your head. Your best chance at survival would be for us to remove it. But unfortunately, until we're able to shrink it down to a more manageable size, it's just too risky. You're going to be stuck here in the hospital for quite some time. Just like that, my youth was taken from me. But in a cruel twist of fate, my illness wouldn't even end up being my biggest source of pain. See, I was an only child, and both of my parents had to work two jobs in order to pay my medical bills. So, it was the loneliness that truly hurt me the most. No friends, no family, no source of joy. In fact, the only time I would ever feel any kind of happiness was when I was watching my little TV set. Trapped in that bed, I'd watch television day and night. Everything from game shows, soap operas, even sports, believe it or not. I'd watch just about anything to keep my mind off of sickness. Eventually, the doctors gave me some excellent news. Hey, what gives? Sorry to interrupt your show, but I have your most recent test results. Look, see for yourself. It's your tumor. It's shrunk. We should be able to perform the operation on it first thing tomorrow morning. I couldn't believe it. I was going to get to leave the hospital, and then I would get to live the life I had always deserved, I'd always wanted. Or at least, that's what I thought. We now interrupt this programming to give you a breaking news update. A strange new species of sentient tourists have invaded our city. The creatures are causing pure chaos, attacking civilians and destroying buildings. Oh no, that can't be good. What the? What's happening down there? The streets were crawling with the strange new toilet creatures. I knew that if I stayed in the hospital room that the toilets would find me. And eventually, they did. Skibbity? Are they gone? Is it safe? Skibbity! The skibbities had me completely cornered. There was nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. So I clung to my TV set, waiting for my inevitable demise. Then, the most incredible thing happened. Suddenly, I felt strong. I felt more alive than I'd ever felt before. It was incredible. Creatures, they were afraid of me. No one had ever been afraid of me before. I'd always just been a nobody. Things are about to be very different now. I was in charge of my own destiny for the first time, and I liked it. in total control. I felt powerful. I felt like I could take over the entire world if I wanted to. <laughs> Which, finally, leads me back to you. You see, I have been waiting for this moment for a very, very long time, Skibbity. Finally, I get to subject one of you to the very same pain I had inflicted upon me all those years ago. I'm going to make you stare at this screen until I come to the conclusion that you've suffered just as much as I did. And then, only then, 
Once you're desperate for all of it to end, I will turn the screen off and let you die. Oh yeah, well not if I have anything to say about it. No, oh, you insolent little latrine! You're going to pay for this. Let's get out of here before old flat screen gets his monitor back on. Get back here! But I, I still don't understand. Who are you? And where did you get those six shades from? I'm part of a secret band of skibbity operatives specifically designed to fight against our TV-headed enemies. Here, try these on. Whoa, these are awesome. How do I look? Never better. What's the plan? We're not about to fight these guys, are we? Charge! Oh boy, stay away from me. Stay away from me! Oof! Ugh, you cracked my ball. Uh-oh. Incoming! <gasps> you saved me! Ugh, pretty light. Can't move! Oh, you silly little skippity. You really thought you could get away from me by using just a simple pair of eyewear? Oh, I bet you feel like a real fool now. Hope you enjoyed your short-lived life, Skibbity. Lord knows I didn't get to enjoy mine. <laughs> what have you done to me? My head! My beautiful monitor head! It's cracked! Whoa, did you break his screen? I can't believe you actually saved me. That was so brave of you. Yeah, well, I couldn't have done it without your shades. Here, you look better with these on. Now come on, let's get out of here. Oh, you may have won the battle, Skibbity. But you have not won the war. This is far from over. It's very far from over, I tell you. <laughs> If you thought I was tough to defeat with one monitor, prepare to face fly! I won't go back to being weak again. I am strong. I am powerful. I am... Cheesy Man!